Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Learn with the Seesaw Expert. We are so excited for you all to be here tonight. We did start about a minute early, and as we're waiting for everyone to join, um, we would love for you to introduce yourself in the chat, share where you're from, your role or your grade level at your school or your district. Uh, so go ahead and find that chat. You're going to click on the ch chat icon. It's probably in the lower right-hand corner. Um, click on that, open up the chat, and introduce yourself. And when you click on that chat, you also are going to see there's a Q&A and handout, handout section, so stay in the chat for now. Welcome, Sarah from Texas. We have Chris. It looks like Stephanie's joining us from Minnesota. Chris is also from Minnesota. Awesome. Welcome, Katie in Kentucky, Gail in Pennsylvania. Ooh, welcome from Austria. How awesome. Oh, I saw Thailand in there too. Nice. Welcome everyone. Happy, I like to say good afternoon, good morning, good evening. You know, it just depends on where you're joining us from. Well, we're so excited for you to be here with us today. It is exactly, you know, 5.30 where I am in Denver, Colorado. So we're going to get started because we have a lot to get through. Um, first of all, we want to say happy Teacher Appreciation Week. You know, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. We really appreciate all of you, everything you do every single day, and appreciate you being with your, um, being here with us today. And so let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to be sharing some fun ways that you can use Seesaw in your classroom during the last weeks of the school year. You made it. Uh, we have Seesaw's Chris Shiner with us, and he's going to leave you with activities, lessons and ideas to capture the year, create, um, capture the year, excuse me, creatively and end the year and celebrate long lasting memories using Seesaw. So before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. If you have questions during the session that you want Chris to answer, please go ahead and click on the Q&A tab and ask them there. This ensures that we are not going to, that we don't miss any of those questions. And if any questions go unanswered, we will reach out to you and answer those questions after the webinar. Any other comments or ideas that you have can be put in the chat tab so all participants and attendees can view them. Now to open these tabs, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click on that little chat icon in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Um, you're gonna have the option to toggle between the chat, the QA, Q and A, excuse me, and the handout tabs. That handout tab is going to include some key takeaways from today's session. Um, don't worry, today's session is being recorded and you will receive a link to the recording in a follow-up email, as well as a completion, completion certificate and other resources. So keep your eye out for that in about 24 to 48 hours. So you all have already introduced yourself. So who are we? My name is Allie and I'm a training and professional development specialist here at CISA. Prior to being at CISA, um, I was a teacher. I was an educator. I taught both fourth and fifth grade. I was a reading interventionist for third through fifth graders. And then I became an instructional coach. And I'm super excited to be here with you all and excited to be here with Chris. So I'll have him introduce himself. Awesome. Thank you so much, Allie. And I'm super excited to be here with all of you. I'm Chris Shiner, the Partnership Manager here at Seesaw. Before this, I was a kindergarten teacher and then transitioned to a technology coach and then a math lead from there um, and have been doing Seesaw all throughout the whole thing and absolutely love it. So very excited here to be uh, walking you through fun ways to end the last 30 days. Great. Again, thanks, Chris. We're so excited to learn from you today. So as you all finish out your school year, we want to share some fun ways that you can use Seesaw to keep that engagement high. We know that's really important. And so today, Chris is going to share how you can use Seesaw to capture, to create, and to celebrate the year. So take it away, Chris. Awesome. Thank you so much, Allie. Uh, those are the three C's we will be talking about specifically today, capturing, creating, and celebrating. Uh, there is a lot more C's that we could go into as far as what we can do for the end of the year, uh, but we wanted to focus on those through our webinar today. Uh, before I jump in, I just want to just echo what Allie said. Um, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, thank you not only for doing what you do every day for students, but also being here today, uh, learning a little bit about what else you can do with Seesaw. We're very grateful for you to be here. We love teachers and we just uh, want to just tell you all that we appreciate your time and effort and everything you're doing every single day. 
What we're going to really focus on is making the days count here for the rest of our last 30 days. So this is a quote by Muhammad Ali, don't count the days, make the days count. And this is really um, the, the important emphasis here is how we're going to think about and have the mindset throughout the rest of our year. Are we really going to squeeze the juice out of those days that we have and those minutes that we have with our students? Or are we going to kind of count it down and say, well, we got a few more days until summer. And so the ideas you're going to have today are really going to help to, to rejuvenate you and help to kind of help you to squeeze that juice out so that you can really end the year in a super positive way through everything we're going to do. The first section we'll talk through here is about capturing your year. And so this first C is, uh, if you think about the three C's we'll go through, this is going to be kind of the simplest C. It's simply just capturing something that's happening. It's using Seesaw to be the bucket that allows you to grab that moment and to keep it forever and ever and share it potentially with family members as you go through. The two templates we'll talk through are snapshots of our year. So how do we set that up? What does that look like? How can we make that work in our classroom? And the second one is scavenger hunts. So that is talking about uh, how do we set up uh, literally a scavenger hunt and what kind of options do we have with scavenger hunts within Seesaw itself? So the very first one, again, is snapshots of our year. Uh, what you can see here on the screen is an example of um, what students will see inside of their activity here. Um, just so everybody knows, there is a handout at the end of this that you'll have these activities that you can take with you and use in your classroom. But I'm still going to walk you through kind of the dynamics and what's happening within it so you can be successful with these moments in your classroom. So this is just providing students an opportunity to uh, capture their moment and capture that snapshot that they, that they have in the best way possible. Uh, the design behind this is that there is an example that looks like this that's in the multimedia slot, but there's nothing in the student template. So they have the ability to use the drawing tool to draw their favorite memory. They can use their photo tool to take a picture of their work, or they can even use the video tool to capture something else. Maybe it's a favorite conversation, or maybe it's like a cool handshake that they had with a buddy. Um, something else like that, that's just a special moment that you're gonna get to capture within a Seesaw snapshot. The second template that I'll walk through here before we switch screens is about the scavenger hunt. So this is again, a way to set this up in Seesaw and how do we make sure that this can be successful using the tools we have. I'm gonna kind of talk through roughly five different scavenger hunt ideas. Uh, one that's like a math numbers of the day, a, your favorite books, letters of the day. Uh, how do you make your name as if it was like an acronym? Or maybe there's a one word theme that you wanna follow through that. So I'm going to have Tracy switch my screen and I'm going to walk you through both of those two templates here uh, right now inside of Seesaw. So again, you get these templates. Um, I just want to walk you through kind of the dynamics that are happening here. So snapshots of our year. I'm going to go into the edit mode and just kind of show you what's happening. So we've done a wonderful job of kind of setting up all of your directions. We made sure to use the Seesaw icon code so that everything is set up for your students to be successful. But you can see here the difference in, in how we set up students to have any option possible to capture their snapshot. So our, our example here is what they see on that thumbnail. And this is where you see the, the three prompts to provide students. When you set up an activity this way, this allows that response to be as open-ended as you want it to be. We can provide different directions in here. We could create a little example for students. But when it comes time to actually do the template, there isn't something there for them to start with. So they have this amazing freedom that comes with these kind of moments, which is uh, an extremely powerful opportunity for them to share their learning in a really unique way. So that's snapshots of our year. Um, the second one here, scavenger hunt, I'm gonna again edit this one and kind of show you some of the dynamics and how you can take this and put this into your classroom. So what I've done is kind of mocked up, each of these are, are their own unique scavenger hunt. This would be an example if you wanted to do a scavenger hunt about my favorite books of the year. So you have the prompt on the top, my favorite book of the year was this. They can write it with the pen, they can use the microphone to capture what the title actually is, and then they get to actually snap a picture of it and then share why it's their favorite book. So if this is a scavenger hunt that you wanna do in your classroom, you can simply go to the three dots and duplicate this page as many times as you want to. Let's say we wanted to do five of our favorite books. 
And now you have this uh, scavenger hunt set up for students that they have five opportunities to submit their favorite books inside of Seesaw. The second option here is about uh, daily letters. And so I've seen a lot of teachers who do like number countdowns or like an alphabet countdown uh, all the way to the end of the year. This is a place where you can actually set that up. So today's letter is B. And really all we want is students to capture where they see B all over the place. So they can, again, use the pen, mic, they can use the, the photo tool or even the video tool to capture the letter B. They can build, build like this beautiful collage with tons of layers of content on it all around the letter B. Again, customizing the content is just as easy as duplicating pages, changing the letter, um, and then you're all set to go for that scavenger hunt. The exact same thing happens for numbers. If you wanted to do a number countdown, let's say that today's number is like 28 days left in school. Uh, the exact same thing can kind of happen for that. That just happened for our letters itself. These last two I'm going to combine into one just to make sure we can keep moving. Um, they're almost exactly the same, but I want to show you kind of how this can be set up. So memories for my name, uh, what we've done in the past with this is we have students spell their name like this. They write their name on the side and maybe they make it super big or maybe you kind of set it up for them. You could change this out also to be like a word of the year, like pride or um, excellence, which is a long word, but one that would be really cool. And students have to find something or share a memory that aligns to each of these letters. So K could be eating a Kit Kat bar. Oops. I think it's spelled with two Ks, um, something just like this. And they kind of align that side by side like this. They could also capture a picture. They could line it up with each letter as they go through, but just using their names, using a special word or a theme of the year to capture all that in a fun scavenger hunt for students is a great opportunity for them to just kind of jump in and have some fun using Seesaw. I'll pass it back over to you, Allie. Thanks, Chris. What great ideas. So now we hope that all of you will go ahead and capture your learning end of the year learning like Chris showed and that end of the year fun with Seesaw. So if you're having a field day or students are giving presentations or sharing their writing, make sure to capture this in Seesaw using, like Chris said, the camera, the video, audio tools. So now we're going to hear more from Chris on how you can use Seesaw to creatively end the year. Awesome. This is probably my favorite section because doing things creatively always just brings out uh, the, the uniqueness in every single student and really unpacks their mind in a fun way. Uh, one thing that we've done in the past, I'm just going to have you jump right into it, Tracy, in the interest of time. Um, one thing we've done in the past is actually have students uh, create a poem. And this is an example of a poetry scramble. But you can use this any way that you want to. You can just write a simple poem, but you can also give students a prompt like, what is a dream you have for next year? Or what is something you're really looking forward to over the summer? Or maybe what is something that you want to tell next year's students so that they're prepared to come into this classroom? Um, you can have those be something that's shared on a bulletin board. It can be something that you pass on to even next year's teacher and say, here's all the poems that they did last year and what they're really looking forward to in the next grade. Um, so th these poems are just wide open and there's so, so many awesome ways that you can have students use this in a really creative way. The words that are on here can also be changed out. If you look at these and you want to add different words, if you want to say that you want to duplicate certain words, it's super flexible for any teacher to grab and just modify the words that are existing on here. The second option around creativity is to actually host a puppet show. Um, this is a really fun example uh, that you can set up for students that allows them to um, jab a little bit of fun at you, but also really get them to see who, who you think that they are at the end of the year. Like, who is my teacher and what are they going to do all summer long? Um, I'm going to show you how to kind of set this one up here in just a minute. But uh, basically what this is, it allows students. Oh, that's perfect. You can switch it. You can switch it. <laughs> This allows students to, to use all the tools that they have at hand um, and create a video that is going to you know, allow them to express themselves in a super fun way. I'm gonna demo this and then I'll show you how to set it up. So students will get a template like this and they simply just click the microphone 
and they can tell and move things as they kind of create this story. So if I was the teacher, I can simply click the mic and move this and say, well, my name is Mr. Shiner and I am going to go on vacation to Hawaii and go see the amazing volcanoes that are continuing to spew lava into the ocean. Um, something like that. <laughs> when students finish, they can just hit their, their finished recording. They can hit done. And now you have this moment. You have it captured in here, them using you. They're talking about you. They are just having a blast using the Seesaw tools and retelling something fun throughout the year. So what I did to set this up is I found a picture of myself. And I'm going to start all the way over and just give you the example. If we had a blank slate like this. So you can take a picture of yourself. I actually have one on my desktop that looks like this. It's like this, I'm thinking about something, I'm inquiring about something. And you can use a tool that is called remove.bg to get rid of that background so that you can put it in as your own custom puppet. So I'm gonna take this picture that I have right here. I'm gonna upload it. I can simply just drag and drop this right into remove BG, which is awesome. And it gets rid of all the background for me, like magic, kerpoof, it's gone. Once I hit download, I now have this clean version that has nothing else on it. So it's all ready for the puppet show. What I can now do with this is I can upload it by going to the camera, going to upload. I can drag and drop it from Chrome. Or if I know right where it is, I can simply just pull it in. So now students have this custom picture of myself inside of the canvas, and they get to do what they want with it. They can simply just move the character around, talk through what I'm going to do this summer. They can use the pen tools and draw something fun. Let's draw like a really, really fast roller coaster like this. Um, they can do all kinds of amazing things all using the Seesaw Canvas. And then when you're finished, you get that fun video that you can play back over and over again and just laugh and hold on to that memory for as long as possible. Uh, because that is that is really the creativity that Seesaw can unlock for you. That's going to allow that moment to be something that you have and can be a super fun, unique way to kind of close out the last 30 days. Thanks again, Chris. So fun. These ideas will really add some fun and engagement as all of you and your students wrap up the year. So here are a few more ideas to let your students' creativity really shine in Seesaw. You could let your students create a welcome video that includes a tour of the classroom to get next to your students excited and ready. You have students think of different adults in the school who have helped them this year and create thank you cards in Seesaw for those people. Just don't forget to then share the link or QR code to the post with those adults. And students could even create vision boards in Seesaw, sharing their hopes and wishes for the next school year. So we cannot wait to see all of the creativity in Seesaw. Chris, let's hear how now we can celebrate, since celebration is so important, all those long-lasting memories from the year. That they are. Um, unlike the other components that you kind of saw, those were really fast and, and capturing just small moments throughout the entire year. These are designed to be capturing year-long time spans. So they're designed to be much, much broader and much longer than it would be just to like capture a snapshot or capture one little fun little puppet show. So um, you're going to see two templates here that kind of talk through what it would be like if you had um, an example of maybe a memory book, like what you see here on your screen. Um, this is a template that you all are going to get. It is an amazing template around my awesome year. That is a Seesaw Lessons collection. If you're familiar with Seesaw Lessons, um, it is a collection that's designed to allow students to capture all their moments throughout the entire year. Uh, and I'll unpack each of those pages here in just a moment, but I wanted to kind of show you that, you know, this is, this is a free collection and this is one that you guys get to take home today and use with your students as you so wish. The second template I'll talk through is a send off to summer. Uh, this was one of my favorite things that I ever did in our classroom. Um, and what we would do is kind of three steps and I'll talk through those steps before you see the template. The first step is to actually create all of the memories. So on one page, we would draw everything or write everything that we're proud of in the year. 
And then we would flip the paper over and on the back side, we would draw or write everything that we're looking forward to. So we would capture everything that we had in our minds on this one sheet of paper. And then what we would do is fold it up into a paper airplane altogether. And we would go out onto the playground or somewhere really high up. And we would all just throw our paper airplanes off into summer and just, you know, have a big congratulations, hurrah, hooray. And then uh, it was just a way for us to, to have a lot fun little ceremony around the end of the year and capture that in a super fun, engaging way. Um, one tip, if you do do this, make sure you go pick up all those paper airplanes because they just have some amazing, amazing things that students draw or write on there. Um, and I'll kind of walk through how to capture all those within Seesaw here in just a second. So the first one, go ahead, you can go, yeah, perfect. The first one I'll kind of walk you through is the My Awesome Year end of year journal. What I'm gonna do is go through each page just to allow you to kind of see the, not only the robustness of this specific activity, but around lessons and what we provide uh, within Seesaw Lessons itself. So we always include a powerful family why along with really robust directions. Uh, that includes audio directions and custom examples as we build through this. If you unpack this even more down below, we provide some how to use this lesson. It's always standards aligned. Um, there's some notes in here that include best teacher practices or little tips and tricks too that all align to these specific lessons. So that's kind of the, the front page of what we kind of include in this. As we unpack the lesson itself, um, I'm gonna walk you through what this could look like as if I was a student. So I have a student, I can go in here and I can write my name using my mouse. Uh, it is the end of, let's say it's third grade. And then I can take a picture of myself capturing that first moment throughout the whole year. After this, I can upload a picture of my class. Maybe we have a picture that our teacher provided to us or we can snap one really quick from the wall. Uh, me, then, and now, we allow students to kind of say, this is what I looked like at the beginning of the year, and here's how much I grew. This is how much I've changed throughout the whole year. Students can use pictures, or they can draw these all inside of the canvas. Three ways I've changed. This is one of my favorite things to look at because it's from the student's perspective. Like, how do you think you've changed through the year? I know how you've changed as a teacher, but how do you think you've changed as a student? So things like, did your hair grow? Did your brain grow? Are you taller? Who are your friends? All these fun things that you can hear from the student's perspective and capture that on this page itself. Some of my favorite things, allowing students to uh, share what their favorite things are at the end of the year. And if you did this at the beginning of the year, it's kind of fun to compare those side by side, see if their favorite food changed, see if their favorite songs changed or all kinds of fun stuff like this. My word wall. Uh, Seesaw is a great opportunity for students to actually create word walls. Uh, they can use this text tool and draw out all their words. Let's write energetic or something like this. Um, they can write all kinds of words inside of the canvas. And with the ease of use, be able, being able to like rotate and flip and crop things, uh, students can create a word wall in a really short amount of time. So this would be really fun to see what students decide to put in here, even if they're kindergarten students and they're trying to put in maybe simple letters or simple words. It's going to allow you to kind of see what are they learning and what did they absorb through the year so that they can tell a story about themselves in not a sentence format and kind of a word wall that's just going to be really fun for you to unpack. Uh, the last couple pages here are about my favorite book. This is like a, a book reflection for students. They can talk about their favorite book. This is what it was about. Here's my rating. Here's why I would recommend it to somebody else. Uh, I am an artist. Share your favorite piece of art. This would be a great time to go tour down to the art room. Go snap a picture of something that maybe is hanging up on the wall or maybe this awesome sculpture that they built. Capturing all of the moments throughout the entire year. Uh, sharing writing. Sharing math mathematical thinking sharing who your friends are. Again, another opportunity for you to do this at the beginning and the end and see kind of what happened. And the last page is my goals for next year. So this is, this is again, another page that's just going to unpack what are you looking forward to? What's kind of going on in your mind? And this would be a wonderful page to pass on to next year's teachers so that they can kind of see what's everybody thinking and what are they expecting to come out of this next grade so that I can prepare myself as a teacher uh, for all the fun that we're going to have. The final send off to summer here that I'll kind of walk you through 
is again, it was one of my favorite routines to set up through the whole year. And it was one that just allowed us to have a ceremony or something that kind of helped to, to be that final moment together uh, that, that also sums up everything that we did. So unpacking this template just a tiny little bit, um, I wrote in the teacher notes to complete steps one and two in your classroom, which is making the paper airplane, or excuse me, drawing all over the paper and then making the paper airplane. Step three is like the throwing it, sending it off and see you later. Uh, but I put all of those in the student template for you so that everybody can see those, students can see them and they can all watch these as you go. So I'm gonna walk through, through these pretty quick before I pass it back to Allie here. Um, again, step one was getting the piece of paper. You're drawing on both sides. What are you proud of? And then what are you looking forward to? We have this awesome That's video like embedded in the canvas um, that walks students through how to actually uh, like fold a paper airplane. So that can be kind of tricky. So this can be something you can play as a whole class. You can play it as many times as you need to to make sure that you folded it. And then the final page is to capture that with the video tool using that video tool to capture all your moments. Maybe you're standing on top of the playground. Maybe you guys are in the gym, so you have some nice open space, but just allowing you to have that be something that comes with this artifact and is something that uh, can kind of close up that ceremony time together. What fun ways to celebrate the growth and all those changes from the year and send students off to summer, Chris. So make sure everyone show off all of your fun celebrations that Chris was just sharing in Seesaw. You could even have students interview classmates, like was mentioned, using the video and audio tools. Make sure to celebrate also surviving this year. We know it was, you know, a uniquely difficult year. So definitely capture those celebrations. And also when Chris was talking about how in that uh, My Awesome Year, you know, reflection, it's information for the previous or the next year's teacher, excuse me. That's what's so great about Seesaw is those school-wide portfolios, those that digital portfolio, so that next year's teacher can see, you know, how the student reflected on the previous year. So thank you. So we, this was a quick one. Um, we want to make sure, as Chris mentioned at the beginning, that you all have all of these activities if you want to use them. And so in the handouts tab, you're going to find a handout with everything that Chris shared, as well as some other free Seesaw lessons that on the bottom of the handout you're going to see have been divided um, for each grade level PK to five to help you end the year. And so simply click on the link to an activity or a lesson, save it to your My My Library. And if you need, all, like always, if you need more basics on how to use Seesaw, um, you can visit our training page at web.seesaw.me forward slash training. Um, and again, that's going to be shared. This handout will be shared in the handouts tab and also in your follow-up email. So don't worry, you'll receive it both places. Now, this is what the free lesson handouts um, look like. And so that, like I mentioned, they're broken down by grade level and also by week. And really we've chosen specifically lessons that are gonna help you know, for the end of the year learning as well as fun. So we hope you'll check them out and try them with your students in this last uh, month of school. So we now do have some time um, to you know, answer some questions that were asked. And so Chris, we're gonna see if there's any questions that are gonna get displayed uh, and then we'll get them answered. I know there were definitely questions about you know, receiving all this information. So yes, you'll get that email, follow-up email. Here we go, Michelle asked, how would you share the one page with next year's teacher? Great question. Yeah. Fantastic question. I'd say the easiest way to do it would be to uh, get like a QR code for the item after students submit it. So once it's in the journal, you can go to the three dots in the little corner and then go to get QR code. And that's going to allow that to be something that can be scanned either by next year's teacher, but it also can be something that you print and put on like a bulletin board or you put inside of like a, even a memory book for students that allow them to have this artifact for basically forever. So uh, those are kind of the best ways to share it. If you want a really quick way, you can also go to the three dots and just go to share and it'll give you a link that you can, again, use the same way you would a QR code. So that's how you would share with next year's teacher. Great. Thanks, Chris. Let's see if we have any others. I know there was a question about let Seesaw lessons in Spanish and that Mia answered it real well. Yes, don't worry. We have our building to K's in Spanish. All of the lessons do have directions in both English and Spanish. And I know that we're working really hard to um, 
develop and, you know, translate our other lessons into Spanish. So that is definitely being done, which is so exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think for time's sake, we're going to have to keep moving on. So once again, thank you all for joining us and thank you so much, Chris. Um, we would love to get your feedback, everyone on this session. And so we're going to be uh, dropping a feedback form. It is in the handouts tab. I think we possibly might be dropping it into that chat as well. Um, so if you don't mind taking your time to complete that, that's, you know, we take your feedback very seriously at Seesaw. That's how we develop these and continue developing them and improving them. So we hope that, you know, you have learned some fun ways to use Seesaw with your students to capture, create, and celebrate this school year. And your goal for these this last 30 days a month, however much uh, many more days of school you have, is to have fun. Have fun with Seesaw during these last days with while learning, while keeping engagement high, and celebrating the school year. Now, we do hope that you'll join us again May 12th when Chris is coming back to walk us through our digital citizenship curriculum that is part of Seesaw Lessons. He's going to be sharing why it's important for students to be safe, kind, and responsible when they're online. And we know that you know all of our students are going to be on devices this summer. And so we just want to make sure that they are being good digital citizens when you as their teacher is not there reminding them. So we will drop the link to register for this in the handouts tab, in the chat as well. Um, and we hope uh, to see you there. So again, we just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate all of you and everything that you do daily. And make sure to check out our social media, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, um, for a small token of our appreciation and gratitude during this back, to, uh, as I say, back to school, during this, excuse me, teacher appreciation week every single day. Um, we'll be, you know, just acknowledging and thanking all of you. And there's a little, uh, little surprises throughout the week. So again, thank you all. Happy Teacher Appreciation Day. Thank you again, Chris, for joining us. And we hope to see everyone again soon here at Seesaw. Thank you. Bye, everyone.